All right, as always, thanks for joining. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about five things that you shouldn't be doing on public land. So stick around. All right, rule number five, know the rules and the laws of the area you're hunting. Nowadays, you can get those rules right here on your phone or insert digest here. Go pick you up the digest when you go and buy your license. If not, you can get that thing right on your phone. You can download it, keep it always stored on your phone. That is not all the rules and the laws. It's a good synopsis that covers the majority of them. Uh, but make sure you're hunting on public land. There's already enough bad crap going on. We don't need hunters making bad names for themselves, uh, making bad names for us. So know the rules. Coming in at number four is respect other hunters. Man, there's so much of this, it's my spot. I got a problem with you and you. You ain't getting that bull up there. And I always see on these forums, guys yelling at each other back and forth because I was here first. No, it's my spot. I've been hunting here for 15 years. Um, I hunted here last week. All of these things uh, really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm a public landowner too, just like you. Um, it's kind of a first come, first serve basis. So if someone else is there, Scoot your butt on down a couple hundred yards. Find another spot. Sorry about your luck. Should have been there sooner. Coming in at number three is again a little bit about respecting other hunters, but realize that there's other people out there and not just you. Especially when it comes to deer season, make sure you're coming in early and leaving late. 20 minutes to legal shooting light left and this guy decides to This year we had so many people coming in while we're hunting public, coming in 15 to 20 minutes after legal shooting light, had a buck get scared off because someone was coming in late. Um, also had another couple of guys that were leaving 30 minutes before last, shoot, last shot. Um, those are prime time hours. If you're gonna come in late or, or leave early, make sure it's at least an hour before that first and last shot. Um, it just ruins everybody else's hunt that's around those areas. So respect everybody else that's out there. Know that it's not just your spot and you're not the only one out there. All right, we are sporting a little red and green today because it is around Christmas time. Uh, but this hat today I'm wearing is Shedding Light Outdoors and I've got to recommend a video for you is you've got to go check out my buddy Travis. He had an awesome hunt. He got to hunt with his best friend. He got to hunt on the ground with a trad bow and took a buck and that buck got within like two or three yards of him. Man, it was an amazing hunt and I think you gotta check that out. I have a link to that right up over here or maybe it's over here, I don't know. Anyway, there's a link for that also down in the description. Let's get on with the count. Coming in at number two is don't litter. Here's another thing I hate about people on public land. Seriously. Why well, you gotta dump your beer cans here? Just take them back with you. Man, I tell you what, nothing frosts my chaps more than somebody leaving their trash behind, leaving their wrappers and their beer cans. Man, that drives me nuts. I don't know why everybody likes to just take their beer cans and leave them. There's bottles and cans all over the place on public land, and I just don't get it. Just pick up after yourself. It's just common sense. Were you like a two year old? Man, you gotta leave this place better than you found it for all the rest of the hunters and everyone else who wants to use that property. It is just as much their land as it is yours. Just leave it better than you found it. Pick up after yourself. Come on, people. Coming in at number one is thou shalt not steal. Man, first time I've had this happen to me on public land was I had my tree stand stolen, along with one or two of my trail cameras. And man, I tell you what, that really just bummed me out for the season. And I just don't understand it, man. If it ain't yours, don't touch it. You know, yes, could you legally sit in someone else's stand? Could you legally check someone else's SD card? I suppose. But man, just, if it's not yours, don't touch it. There's no, no reason to go up in someone else's tree stand. There's no reason to check someone else's SD card. There's no reason to touch their camera. If you want to know what's on that camera, put your own up. Someone else already beat you to it and they're already doing the work. Do it yourself. There we have it, folks. There is my five don'ts for hunting public land. If you've got some additional ones that you think should be added to the list, put them in the comments down below. Let me know what you think should be added to the list. As always, thanks for sticking around and we'll see you next time.